Imagine that. You actually came back to watch another one of my episodes, you crazy fuckers. All right, so listen. Yesterday, I shot my first video in a long time, um, and I wanted to do a uh, an edit of the same exact video I shot yesterday in my new Adobe Premiere Pro 2023. In comparison to my Wondershare Filmora, I did some in 9, but I finished it out in 12. Um, and I just added all those corny little graphics, and I can do a lot more. I can do subtitles, lower throats. I can do all of that, and I can do it at a fraction of the cost for Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, and the irony is, like, I literally tried today to actually go on there. I imported my video from yesterday raw without any graphics that I didn't want to share from Laura. And then I just wanted to add, like, the third titles. I wanted to add stickers. I wanted to add some popping graphics and all that. And guess what I had to do? I would have had to pay out my ass for it. So now, as a beginner, do I want to do that? Hell no, because guess what? If I'm not making anything from it, why do, why do I want to reach that deep in my pocket? I've already made this mistake by thinking that Adobe Premiere Pro was a way for me to go because I could probably do smooth video edit, but now what I need to see if uh, the cut and splice and all that, ripple deleting, all that good fun stuff I can do. I just can't add all the, the flair, the je ne sais quoi, the panage. Uh, but I'm wondering if I can get a, a smoother editing with cutting and, and all that stuff and then bring it over to my Wondershare Filmora and add all my nice graphics that I get for next to nothing. If I wanted to add graphics to Adobe Premiere Pro, um, there's Adobe stock images where you can get some nice graphics, you can get some still pictures, you can get a ton of stuff, but you pay out your ask me no more questions. Um, in order for me to get a trial, and if I wanted to use it and download up more, it would have cost me 398 beans on top of the couple hundred beans I already spent on Adobe Premiere Pro, and that's just not going to be everything I need in a nutshell. Wondershare Filmera, you only spend a little under two beans for that whole program, and you can spend roughly, I think it's 39.99 beans per month and get a shit ton of graphics that you can add through Wondershare Filmora. Pro, I mean uh, 12, Pro 12, uh, poof, going too quick. So take a little bit of advice. Um, think before you leap into this, but then go back and watch. Um, and I'm going to tell you this. Go watch a lot of Think Media's videos. I talked about them yesterday because they do. They talk about a lot of great products. And yes, you're going to see these same faces talking about the same product. Most of them in the same perspective because they're being paid to talk about that product but they give a lot of great, great information, and that's information you can look at and then see for yourself. So if you wanna start out, get yourself a nice Logitech webcam. I have the Brio 4, um, cause I can get 4K, I'm shooting on it now. Yeah, I keep hitting, uh, going back and forth between the two cameras I have. I do have the uh, Sony um, vlog camera that I just bought. I did spend a lot of money on that because I wanna be a little more uh, proactive. I'm going to get a little more creative with my videos because I need to step up the game. The Papa B YouTube channel, that's great. I sit there, I talk shit, but I want to do a lot more. I want to be able to uh, create these creative, funny videos kind of outside or just be able to go out and shoot things that are going on. Just a little bit of life. What's happening out there? You know, what's Papa B on the road going to look like? Is it Papa B on the road or is it just general life in question? Who freaking knows? But the reason why I'm shooting this quick video is because I wanted to talk about just the difficulty I'm having using Adobe Premiere Pro um, in comparison to my Wondershare Filmora 12. It's like I need to go back and get an engineering degree or a filmmaking degree in order to use what I want to use it for, but I'd also need to be making uh, engineers pay. Uh, local government boy don't make that. Um, so guess what? Um, not going to get all that fancy bullshit from Adobe. Adobe, you want to send it to me and let me screw with it? The 50 over club? I will do everything I can to do with that, but I can't work my magic because you ain't working into my friggin' pockets to my bank account. It's just not going to happen. It ain't worth it to me. I can do everything I need to do, still here, sit here and talk all my game, poof, skipping over my own words here, um, and get what I need to get done. So here's just my quick snippet. For you beginners out there, listen, go to Think Media, watch the different products they have, listen to me talk shit about what I've done already, and take my advice. When you're starting out, don't go big. They'll all tell you that. Do not go big.
It's not worth it. You need to learn how to use everything. Start small, think big, start small, and then grow. Learn from your mistakes, learn how to make it better, learn how to make the magic happen, and then make it your own. That is the best advice I can give you. That's the only advice that works, and that's no bullshit. All right, here's my short video for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, smash the like button, fucking subscribe, and I'll see you back here for the next one. Papa B is fucking out of here. Peace. As always, if you like what you saw, smash that like button, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching this episode of The Papa B Show.